Good day class, trio ladies, I wish you the best of luck with your presentation. I am confident that you have put in a lot of effort, and I am excited to hear your thoughts on challenge-based gamification, please begin your presentation now, thank you. Good day everyone, uh, my name is Nora Fiza Mohamad Bardam, and I will be giving a presentation on challenge-based gamification. Before I begin, I would like to thank Mr. David for giving me the opportunity to present on this topic. Our group have done a lot of research and preparation for this presentation, and we hope you will find it informative and interesting. We encourage you to ask questions and participate in this discussion throughout our presentation. Thank you so much for your attention. Now I will be explaining about the research objectives. Our research, uh, sorry, the research is titled Capturing Potential Impact of Challenge-Based Gamification on Gamified Quizzing in the Classroom, as can be seen on the screen right now. Now, let's have a look at the paper abstract. The research objectives are to investigate challenge-based gamification on gamified quizzing towards students' engagement and to identify challenge-based gamification on gamified quizzing towards students' learning behavior. So that's the research objectives. Next, I would like to pass the presentation over to my friend Yanti, where she will focus on the method used in this research. Yanti, the floor is yours. Thank you, Fiza. Now that we have covered the title and objective, I would like to move on to the next section of my presentation. And this section, I will be highlighting the research method. And please let me know if you have any question or concern. I will be happy to address them. Okay, let's continue. From this article, the research methods of the approach was applied to logical puzzle quizzes where different gamification adjustments were captured and examined using physics analogy called the motion in mind concept. The structural experiment with a mixed method design was designed around the notion of time pressure and the difficulty of gamifying the quizzing experiences. Okay, now I will be focusing on instruments. The research instruments or data collection through computer-based tools. First is quantitative information. For example, gamified quizzing that was gathered in the first stage was subsequently supported by qualitative data by interviews in the second stage. Next is qualitative study data were collected from the experimental process via metric mentioned in the assessment section. Last one is a qualitative data were collected to determine the depth of view in engagement improvement and learning improvement in the gamified quizzing context. An interview were randomly conducted among the participants, forming in independent and dependent variables respectively. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Sarah, please continue and I'm sure you will do a great job. Thank you, Yanti. As I move forward, I will be continue discussing about this topic and I will explain about data analysis. I would like to remind you that feel free to ask questions at any time during the presentation. I will be happy to clarify any points that may be unclear. Let's continue our discussion. Data analysis through based com computer through computer based tools are divided into two categories: quantitative data analysis and assessment and qualitative analysis during thematic analysis. Let me explain about quantitative analysis and assessment from this article. Use time in this first the first experiment, researchers collected the time required for the whole session and determined the average for each, for each quiz. Second is quiz scores or answer correctness. Both the second and the third experiment focus on the correctness perspective. Now, I will explain about qualitative analysis using thematic analysis. All qualitative data collected were analyzed separately in the data analyzing, analyzing tools Markdown. So this is the software program for qualitative data analysis. It is designed for researchers in the social science, humanities, and other fields 
who need an, to analyze and interpret large amount of qualitative data such as interview transcript, field notes and survey response. Okay, thank you for thank you all for listening for my presentation. I hope you found it informative and interesting. I am open to any question or feedback you may have. Thank you again for your attention and I look forward to hearing from your talk. Thank you. Great job on your presentation trio ladies. All of you did a fantastic job of organizing your information and presenting it clearly. You answered the questions well and your use of visual aids was very helpful in illustrating your points. I appreciate the research and effort you put into this presentation that concludes our class for today. I'll see you all next time.